Uh, hello everybody, uh, this is uh, Steve on YouTube, uh, ElectroTark, and uh, I'm going to be kind of reviewing my first impressions of this friendly arm device. It's uh, basically designed for embedded systems, or it is an embedded system. Uh, basically a PC all in one little unit and it looks kind of large but if you put up a, say a pen beside it it's not that big I think it's a it looks like about a three inch screen and uh, they sell these on eBay from you know that's obviously from China Zhengzhou China um, for eighty five dollars a piece now it's a pretty neat little device it has a touch screen um, which is 320 by 240 uh, it comes with uh, see if I can get a clearer shot of this uh, um, RS-232 out has Ethernet has USB and the speaker port has a bunch of little extra ports in there if you can see them a little built-in buzzer has an SD card slot which is kind of hard to see from this vantage point and uh, another USB port uh, these devices you can get them with larger screens uh, which I might actually recommend which uh, after I play with this for a while I might do uh, to be honest with you I have never uh, done any embedded device work so this is going to be new for me um, it's uh, these devices come preloaded with uh, uh, Lion and with uh, Qtopia on them and uh, Obviously, it runs a Linux kernel, but anyways, uh, let's see here. Well, let's turn it on. Let's see what she does. And there we get the Linux penguin, the friendly arm. Runs off 5 volts. Okay, so here we go. We get kind of like a, a PDA style interface. Um, I mean, I'm looking through the camera while I do this so my depth perception isn't uh, right where it should be. It has some neat features. Um, for example, down here you can you can actually uh, do some uh, writing. And it's kind of a kind of interesting because uh, you know, it's based on gestures and so that was that was an E uh, here we'll hit the question mark and there's a trainer now the thing is, is it's not based on shape it's based on gesture so if you're like me like for example I write A's differently right no, I don't do that I do that, and it matched E 1%, so that's a pretty low probability, right, E matched E 5, 75%. Now I'll go through and I'll show you what it expects. If you if you lift up your pen and you lift it up too long, it uh, can, thinks it's an R, so you have to be quick. And you have to draw it above that guideline. Um, Let's see here. See, you get the. It gives you the probabilities of what it was, what it could be. It takes obviously the the best, the best one. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, like I draw beta. Anyways, um, you also get a keyboard. You know, hello. Right. And that comes in handy on the in the browser. A pick board. Now you can pick from a. Let's see if we can get it to look proper here. Okay, you can pick where it, like. Yeah, I don't know. To be honest with you, it doesn't work very well, as far as I can tell. Some sort of weird. I don't know. Anyways. And then you can do Unicode, but it doesn't seem to function properly. I don't see any symbols or nothing. Basic Latin. Um, sorry. There we go. 
can see it better now. We're looking at the Unicode stuff, mathematical operators number, Greek, Latin, basic Latin. I don't know if they mean... Let's see here. Oh, I see. See, maybe I just didn't understand. Anyways. <clears throat> um, it also... This device also works... Oops. With... The web. I got it to function. Let's see where it's going. Oh, we need to touch home. And I loaded up the Google. So we're going to go search. Um, and I would use the keyboard. And you. Tube. Now it, it's pretty poorly visible because I had to change the the font size because it was just too big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, it doesn't like loading YouTube. Uh, but anyways, I mean, it, it looks like it, if you did it correctly, if you did everything correctly, it would be a pretty neat little device. Um, only problem that I have with this device thus far is, A, I can't figure out how to access the SD card. And... B, um, all the instructions are in Chinese. And, uh, you know, I guess you can get some of the gist of it. Uh, you know, it comes with, comes with uh, as you can see on the screen, it comes with uh, 64 megabytes of SD RAM, uh, 64 megabytes of NAND flash, 2 megabytes of NOR flash, so probably, yeah, the BIOS, like it says there. And, uh, it does seem to work fairly well, um, but, you know, I wish I knew what they were saying. I don't know if there's a translation, you know, there are, it does come preloaded with Qtopia on it, and as you can see here, ARM, Linux, GCC, they give you a bunch of software on the, on the CD, uh, like a crack copy of uh, um, Visual C++ for Windows CE. They give you a build of Windows CE. It's pre-compiled. And let's see what else. Um, you know, there's I guess there's the outlay of the board. But uh, all in all, it's not a bad device. I mean realistically. I just wish I could understand what the frick was going on here. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. And it's like this the whole thing. It's not like, you know, half of it is Chinese or something and now they're half English. Um, I guess you have to know what you're doing. I'm, I'm just a bonehead when it comes to this kind of stuff so far. So, you know, I've never done it before. And, uh, but all in all it works. Uh, Yeah, and it has a whole bunch of nice peripherals on it, and uh, really, you could I could use this for some other projects, in particular the viscometer, because it does have enough memory and it has some storage, and uh, you could use it to uh, track data and produce graphs, and uh, you know, or operate as a remote terminal. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, as I go along, I'm going to probably show a few more things about the Friendly Arm. And maybe if, uh, maybe I'll, somebody else who wants to buy these devices will enjoy them. And, 
Like I said, I was lucky enough to be able to try it out. Here, let me get my pen here. There we go. And uh, you know, it's got a bunch of utilities. Text editor. You know, and you could. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Oh, new documents. I guess I can't. Uh, but there we go, I'm reaching my time limit, and uh, if anybody has anything to say about it, uh, please do, please comment on my YouTube channel, um, I'm always open to suggestions.